life up again. In this video, we're going to discuss how you could come to Canada in about three months if you plan to come to Canada. So stay to the end of this video and then you'll get to know the process and how you can come there. This video is basically for those who wish to come to Canada but they don't get the right pathway and they are ready to come to Canada. So at the end, you know how you could do that with ease. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do well to, to subscribe to this YouTube family because there are many more tips that I'm ready to give you. I'm ready to give you all the information that can make you move abroad. So be with this family, ask your questions, like the videos, share it for others. And if I see how you like this video, how you're asking the question, that is going to motivate me to give you more information. So like I said, you can come to Canada within three months, but this one, you have to get the money. So this video is specifically for those who have money to come to Canada, but not, not huge amount of money. You get to know it because, and for those who wish to come and stay in Canada, but they don't get any right way to come. Those who wish to come to school, they've applied for a lot of school, they are not getting the admission because the competition is too high. So this is what I found, and I, I think this is going to help those who wish to come to Canada as to come and stay and work, or those who wish to come to school. This will help you. You only have to pay a little. I'm saying you pay a little because um, this is a school I found, Northern Light College in British Columbia. Northern Light College in British Columbia. And then I see that their tuition is very, very affordable. Their tuition is very, very affordable. And then they accept international students. So you can come here. And then from here, then you move on. That's why I said those who wish to. You're trying to come to Canada, you're not getting the pathway, you can use this school as a pathway. And even they said it on their website, you, you want to get to a bigger school, you can use this school as a pathway. So let's go in, let's dive in into this school. So this is the school, Northern Light College. They have two campuses. Um, one is in Dawson Creek, British Columbia, and I think the other is in Fort. Oh, I found out, I've forgotten. Let me see their contact here if that will come out. They have two campuses. Yeah, Fort St. John's. So Dawson Creek and then Fort St. John's. Those are their two campuses. Yeah, campuses, that's what they have. So you can um, go to this website and find out much information yourself. Like I said, always, if you want to apply for school, find a contact and then be contacting them about some of the things that's in. So this one, let's go to the international. So if you go to international education, you said, get career ready at Northern Light College in British Columbia, Canada. Are you interested in two year diploma or degree that would start you on your path to Canada? Yeah, that is what they say. And even some of their courses is just one year. So to start you on the path to Canada, to start you on the path to Canada, this school will help you. This school will help you. And then looking at the tuition fees so far, this is the lowest tuition fee I've ever seen in any of the universities in Canada here. This is the lowest tuition fee that I've seen. So let's look at the courses that they do. So if you come here, these are the courses. And then the good, why I said three months, you can come here within three months is, I'll show that later, but, um, Okay, so let's click here and then enlarge this. 
so that you see yeah. okay let me enlarge it a bit okay that's it so these are their courses that they take and then these are their first year tuition first year tuition um this is the duration so you could see one year over here I think most of them is two year, we have one year, one year, two also here. This is um one year and one month. And like so most of them are two years, but you have some three, one year there that you can take. If it is like you just want to come to Canada, not necessary for education, or you want to have some graduate program, but you're not getting the admission, you still like you want to really have it, you can use some of this program as a pathway. And then after you complete or even whilst you're in, in it, you can transfer it to um, a, a different school. It, it's easy to get things done whilst you are here than whilst you are out. So their intakes are in January, May, and September. So they have three intakes in the year. And then these are their campuses. So some of the campuses um, does some of the courses and some don't. And it's not all the courses that have been taken January, May, and September. So you have to look at this and check it very well. So like certificate in business management, it is 10,980 for one year. So you go through all this and then you see the programs and then the amount. Um, this one is executive assistance. It is a two year program, but one year is 9,673. So if you have the money, then this is the best place for you to come to Canada. What I saw, it, they have uh, English proficiency IELTS. I didn't see anything on their website that says, um, this is waived for like English speaking countries like Ghana, but this is something that you have to ask. And I know I'm for sure if you ask, they will waive it for you. you. You only have to prove that you studied it English. So if you apply and have to contact them and ask about it and ask about it. So these are the programs and these are the time, the time that you can start. So if you start your application now in May, you can start schooling. If you want to start in September, if you want to start next year, like you need to prepare. So yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you. Though it's, um, it says here, but let's go back to the homepage. I was looking at scholarships opportunity. I'm not, I was looking at scholarship opportunity they have, and I saw um, some scholarships opportunities here. I saw some scholarships opportunity here, but it's like, I'm not sure whether it's for international students are able to um, get some because you see the deadlines for those scholarships. So I think this one, yeah, some of them are passed, but most of them are in 2023. This is continuous. So this is something that you might also ask. You must also ask about the scholarship opportunities. This is something that you must also ask. So if, if you are lucky and then this is applicable to international students, you may get some of these scholarships. You may get some of this scholarship and then a very low tuition fee is going to reduce oh, a very low, okay. A very low tuition fee is going to reduce for you, for you. And then the good part is now in Canada as an international student, you can work unlimited. The 20 hours because of um, shortage of workers, the 20 hours um, is being taken out for now to December 2023. 
That is what the government said. So we don't know if after December 2023, it's going to continue. So you can work more hours. So if you study and then you work, this amount will be easy for you. It will be easy for you to pay. It wouldn't be anything hard for you to pay. So take advantage of this if you want to really come to Canada, even if you don't plan to study, you can use this opportunity to come and then after your school, whilst you're in this school, you find other opportunities. There are other opportunities. You can get your stay, you can get a whole lot of things whilst you are in, whilst you are in. I may be doing video on that later, but for now the concentration is moving abroad. So how you could come is hold. I am working on now. Now let's see why I say in three months. If you check the processing time of student permit. So if you go, this is the website, the Canadian immigration website. I talk about this in some of my previous video, check processing time. So um, we're looking for temporary because um, students study in permit. And then we are looking for steady permit from outside Canada, steady permit from outside Canada. You can check um, processing time of any application over here and then no, and then no. So you have nine weeks to process your study permit. So if the school you apply, and then I know um, they don't have any um, online application format, you have to contact them and then they will send you um, like a PDF um, paperwork that you fill out, you sign, and then you send. And then they, you, this is not free application. You have to pay for application. I guess the application is hundred dollars, hundred Canadian dollars. You have to pay that. So if you do that, if even within a month or even less than that, you could be admitted because depending on when you want to start your schooling. So and then. If your admission is goes through, they do the paperwork for you. They give you all the necessary documents. You apply for your study permit. In nine weeks, you get it. So if you really, really want to come in about three months, you should be able to get your paperwork and everything done. So if you take this month to research a lot in today's, then you make your decision, you gather your money, your finances and everything. And then in, let's say, early February, you apply for the May intake. By April, you should get your papers, your everything, and then come into Canada, come into Canada. So this is a great opportunity. You don't have to miss. Let others know about this. If you have the money to come, try this. It will help you. It will help you. Because looking at it, you, you can make it. You can make it. So do your research around this. And then let me know if you're interested in this. Put it in the comment question. Any questions that you have, put it in the comment section. Any questions that you have, put it in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe and then let's build a solid family. Meet you next time with another awesome video. See you. Bye.